Hey guys, how's it going? Today's vlog is a recap on my past vlogs regarding to this new pain clinic and this doctor that was trying to take my mom off her hydrocodone. I'm going to go over what I already brought up in my past vlogs. So after this vlog, I'll be continuing on with this subject. I would like to say sorry about how this video came out. My computer stopped working in mid-vlog. Let's go over what I already talked about in the past. One of them is Dr. W asked my mom if she had a DNR. My mom's response was no that she had too much to live for. Dr. W's response to that was, uh, well, if you had a DNR, we wouldn't have a problem with you being on your medications, meaning the hydrocodone and the temazepam. And this upset my mom greatly. The second thing that happened was that the doctor told my mom if she went to see OT that she would leave my mom's medications alone. So my mom went to OT. But before my mom went to OT, OT told my mom my mom didn't need to come in because she had everything she needed to be able to function with her life and that there's nothing else they can do for her. So my mom told this to Dr. W, but Dr. W refused to listen, saying to my mom that if my mom wants to continue her medications, she needs to go see OT. So my mom went to see OT, and they already told her the same thing that they said on the phone to her. They could not do anything else for her. At the first appointment my mom had with Dr. W, the doctor told my mom she didn't have quality of life. How can this doctor say she doesn't have quality of life? When my mom had her friends over, did arts and crafts, helped me cook, all sorts of things. How's that not quality of life? Then this doctor tells my mom that the hydrocodone and the temazepam cannot be mixed together. My mom does not mix those two prescriptions together at all. They're literally six hours apart. She takes the temazepam at midnight. The last dose of hydrocodone is at 6 p.m. Not only that, my mom doesn't take the temazepam every day. So Dr. W wanted to take my mom off the hydrocodone and replace it with morphine. From what I understand, morphine is stronger than hydrocodone. Then Dr. W denies ever bringing up morphine. Then she says that my mom should just take Tylenol instead. My mom has fibromyalgia, osteoporosis, arthritis, scoliosis, six herniated discs, and four bulging. She has a lot of bones, joint, and muscle problems. This doctor lied and manipulated my mom many times. So this doctor said that she would leave my mom's medications alone only if my mom only takes half a pill less of the hydrocodone. So instead of four pills a day, she would only get three and a half pills a day and my mom agreed to this. She never said she was going to take her off for good. This doctor knew of my mom's history and why she was on those two prescriptions. She knew that if my mom was taken off the hydrocodone, that her blood pressure would go up, which would have put my mom in the hospital with either a stroke or a heart attack. She also knew that if my mom was taken off the temazepam, that if my mom missed more than two nights of sleep, she would get a seizure. That is one of the reasons why my mom was kept on the temazepam. This doctor had an agenda from the beginning. This doctor asked my mom if she would rather be on the hydrocodone or the temazepam. She could only be on one. My mom said she would rather be on the hydrocodone and be taken off the temazepam. But the doctor did not listen. She started taking my mom off the hydrocodone. Not only did this doctor lie, manipulate, and had an agenda from the beginning, she also put my mom's life at risk. By her starting to take my mom off the hydrocodone, my mom ended up being admitted to the hospital twice due to stroke-like symptoms. All emails between this doctor and my mom are on Facebook. Link is down below. I'd like to say sorry again for how this video came out. So that'll be the end of this vlog. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, but knowing that if you or someone who you know has a story about the VA, please comment below or email me. I would really like to hear what you have to say. Again, thanks for watching.